I'm Scott Newton. I'm the Senior Director of Operations and Logistics for the Los Angeles Regional Food Bank. And we're going to go on a tour today of our new distribution center in industry. It's under construction, but it's also operational, and we have more than 50 employees working here on a daily basis. We're in the Volunteer Engagement Center, and uh, this is where our volunteers will come and be oriented, prepare to go out to produce food kits for those in need. Behind me, the production area is in the warehouse. So it's something we've been doing for many, many years and we'll be moving it inside into a climate controlled area. Let's go check it out. We're in one of two production rooms. This was repurposed offices, demolished almost everything on the first floor and we've created these two 180 foot each production rooms. So there will be conveyors in the middle and pallets everywhere and some production equipment at either end and uh, about a hundred volunteers can work in each one of these rooms producing kits for various programs. Uh, but for now, we are still doing volunteer operations in the warehouse. And then once we move it in, all this will be converted to racking. Uh, we're in uh, warehouse number three, which as you can see behind me, they're building the racking to house more than 4,800 pallets of dry product. And that's about equivalent, this one room, to all the pallet storage in the other two rooms combined. In food banking, our goal is to minimize what goes into the landfill. And to my right, general waste is what's going in the landfill. And then organics, organic waste, it can be repurposed in many different ways. So we do our very best to minimize how much is going into the landfills. We are currently in warehouse quadrant four, and this is where we have refrigerated and frozen product. So it's about a 45,000 square foot room that will have a refrigerated dock at about 45 degrees, a cooler at 34 degrees, and a freezer, which I'm standing in right now, at minus 10. And this is where all shipping and receiving will be taking place. One of the most important aspects of the distribution facility is the docks. And we have 22 docks in the front of the building, the primary docks in both refrigerated and dry side, and we have five docks in the back. And what these are, they're a little bit unique. These are uh, what's called vertical levelers. Instead of them being in a pit, they're almost like a drawbridge. So it'll fold down into a truck. It gives a much smoother ride, and it's a much safer environment for both the uh, forklift operators and for food safety. Right behind me is our new dock office. It's not quite done, but it will be in the next week or two. And this is really the nerve center for shipping, receiving, and order selection. So those, the personnel from inventory control and operations who are controlling that environment, they'll be based out of this office right here. And it straddles warehouse one and warehouse four. So it's right in the center of all of our 22 docks. While we're still going through a lot of construction, what we are is a fully operational food bank here in the city of industry. And behind me, these gentlemen are selecting orders. And we have, throughout the day, we're receiving loads. I believe seven, seven or eight loads were received today. We have 18 trucks on the road today, and everyone's based out of industry. What we don't have yet is our refrigeration and freezers, which will be coming online in a couple of months. We're in the truck yard. It's a busy place. It has trucks going in and going out. We have the 22 doors behind me, dry right here, and refrigerated and frozen down on the other side. The yard is fantastic because it's so much larger than what we had in the past. We can move things very, very efficiently, very safely. Our outside truckers, as well as our own employees, really appreciate the space. To my left is a bobtail truck that just came back from a route and is unloading its product that it picked up for the day. And then a trailer here is probably being loaded for tomorrow's distributions. The fleet continues to grow. We're continuing to add trucks as fast as we can. I'm standing in the new break room. Doesn't look like it, but it's under construction. And there'll be a really first class break room for our employees, as well as locker rooms and facilities behind me for the operations offices. And this is really where our employees will be able to start and end their day, have their breaks. One of the great things about our renovation is we're creating more meeting space. And this is a conference center over here, and the room can be split into two, but it can hold five or 600 people. This room will be really important in bringing our partners together to fight food insecurity. Thank you very much for joining me today on this tour of the Los Angeles Regional Food Bank's new distribution center in the city of industry. For more information, go to lafoodbank.org.